Wow, hello there. It's been a little while since my last stream, and today I thought that I could maybe play one of those slightly more modern games called Incursion Red River, which you can probably tell by the fact that I had to lock this game to 30 FPS. Otherwise, it um, kind of struggles to run well, you know? It is one of the modern Unreal Engine games, so it, it does look pretty in most respects. But the problem is that it still tries to be very visually packed, and it kind of has the issue that Crisis had back in the day, where it's pretty, but at the expense of actually running well. That said, this game is kind of um, a look into what Tarkov would look like if it was a single player game. So this is not a PvP experience, instead there is a bunch of factions, you take on missions for them to earn their reputation, and once you get enough of that, new items open up with the traders. So there's like reputation for each of the factions. And if I want to, I can undertake a task, and then once that's done, I will get some rewards. Also, hey Jude, welcome in. And yes, I will play adventure games at some point, but I got this game on a sale and I'm kind of hyped for it. Yee. So we're just gonna go with whatever this mission was. Um, there's not that many, you know, different types for now. Because this is very much an early, sort of pre-alpha version. Um, but what is there is, is reasonably nice, right? You get your inventory, you get your weapons, you can modify them. It's 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 kind of chill. Now, where this game is a little bit lacking, though, is the amount of content that you actually get in it. So, like, if we look at all of the available weapons, there's just a few in each category, which is unfortunate. But hey, this game is early on in its development, so you know, well, we'll be fine. I do hope that they don't abandon it though, and that they're gonna keep on adding features. Because once you actually jump into it, you will see that it's quite a nice experience, actually. Also, Jude, I don't even know whether that's supposed to be a joke or, or that's just commentary on the modern state of gaming. Because holy frick, there are so many games that are um, just out the door, not entirely ready. But I think this game came out around the time when Grey Zone also was released. Um, so it was one of those uh, like Tarkov moments when Tarkov had a bunch of controversy going on in regards to the tiers and how they're trying to sell the game. And then a bunch of developers kind of used that chance to release their own games. But hey, I get a cool sort of chill single player game and I can even change how hard the bots are to fight against. So in this mission we just take a bunch of bugs and we gotta plant them in some military base. But first, just look at this game. Like I have FSR on, I think, to the high preset, because otherwise um, the graphics are pretty crazy and, and kind of do melt my card, but look at it. Like this is the kind of game where just playing it looks like a screenshot that's perhaps a bit touched up, you know? It's 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 that good and pretty. Also, yeah, in contrast to Tarkov, we get like a little PDA which tells us exactly where we gotta go. So so yeah, I, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, and I have like a silenced pistol. One of the unlocks I got. Most of the loot that you find though will be kind of very, very basic at this point. Oh yeah, and, and you are saying that every company kind of does it? And, hmm, yeah, there, there's a lot of unfinished games out there. I just hope that this one doesn't get abandoned, because what is here is actually fairly solid, and, and you can see that they have a solid basis for a nice experience. Throw in a few more maps, and we are good. And of course, a bunch of guns. Also, is the music not too loud, Jude? What do you think? Oh, frick, I'm getting a bunch of guns. There's like an AK that's pretty tricked out, right? Look at this, ayy. 
and you can change like the fire rate and there's also a button you use for the attachments i think okay this is for checking the magazine frick i swear i i i know how the controls work give me a second <laughs> oh yeah attachment menu oh it doesn't actually bring the gun up i wanted to inspect it like you do in like valorant and all those fancy games and also there's like an m4 which has some interesting furniture on it no sights though yeah there's like front and back sights and this one just doesn't have them what a weird gun i'm gonna use it why not <laughs> oh yeah okay you would maybe lower it a tiny bit yeah that's valid done we good we good and in the meantime i'm just gonna be a little like loot goblin we wiping I wonder if I can attach any... Yeah! Now we have like a flashlight on our gun. In the middle of the day, because why not? <laughs> and also a... Uh, a laser, which kind of blocks the... Um... <laughs> it blocks the iron sights. Truly an example of like modern games. They let you play it how you want to play them, even if you're a dumbass like me. <laughs> Loot Goblin, oh no. Okay, anyways, let's get going. I just fear that my um, flashlight will kind of give away my position, so let's maybe turn that off. This game also lets you do stealth, if you're like, um, careful enough. Oh, and I can also do like this sort of aiming, where I just hold the gun up like this which works out perfectly for me because I basically ruined the sights and with the laser I can still line up some shots <laughs> yeah you can actually see the first AI off in the distance they have a lot of range me stealth I mean of course they won't see me coming, not at all. I just think there were two people here. Where's the other one? I think my problem is that they actually have the music on. And so I can't hear the AI. Normally when they're skulking around, you actually hear like their footsteps and everything. Okay, we are like loaded up on loot we are good we are good let's actually see where we have to go okay so we're just gonna be following the main road of this map currently in the game there's just this one kind of big map and uh, i don't mind it it's it's well made yeah also bye jude thank you so much for dropping by hope you have a lovely rest of your day Oh, we can actually see someone off there, to the side. Now, I am in stealth mode right now, so I should be able to actually properly sneak up on them. Look. Oh, they're off in the distance to that side as well. Frick, 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 frick. Okay, that's one down, but this gun is dry, so I'm switching to my pistol. Hey, see? Not too bad. I just have to be a little bit careful about looting. Because chances are, I'm gonna do that in the middle of someone, like, rounding a corner and seeing me. Plus, it's generally a good idea to have a gun that has a little bit of ammo on the backup. Okay, another person. Oh, they have an AUG! Okay, that's a really good gun. Unfortunately, I can't actually put it in my inventory because you can have an SMG, a main rifle, and, and that's kind of it. Well, a pistol too. 
Hmm. Well, I think I'm just gonna stick with the AK because that's what I actually have some ammo for. Oh no, I could actually get the AUG as well. Okay, okay, listen, just this once, we're going back for the AUG. What a lucky coincidence. So yeah, this is just an example of there not being like a bajillion different items. So you're gonna find ammo for the guns that you just randomly pick up quite frequently. Oh, oh, this also doesn't have sights. <laughs> We're just playing some freaking like Mad Max stuff over here. Now, if I went back, I could take the weird M4, open the mod menu, which I can do in the game, um, take the laser sight off, yeet the M4, pick up the AUG, and put the sight on the AUG. Oh, that's the that's the console. Okay, and boom! Here you here we go. I can actually aim now. Big brain. <laughs> I love it when things are just streamlined and work like this. That is freaking chill. Hmm. Our inventory is full for now, though. gonna just switch over to semi-auto and be a little bit sneaky but also yeah look this game is pretty even in the bits when you can see super far away there's a lot of foliage and, and, and just, like, the level design is nice. It really feels like you're, like, in Vietnam or something. The only problem is that you can't really turn that down very much. Like, for example, if I go over to the graphics menu, which I think I have things, like, on medium for the most part, and turn the foliage to low, well, actually, let's just experiment with turning most things to low. Behold, what is this? <laughs> Texture? Quality? No. You can just straight up choose to, um, you know, get, get a game that doesn't have all the asses that perhaps should be there. And it's a little bit unfortunate. Because most of the game engines nowadays, they can scale both up, meaning that you can have these super fancy graphics, and they also can scale down. Meaning that you can run games on like a Nintendo Switch and stuff. But unfortunately, making a game scale back still takes a bit of work on the part of developers. So oftentimes, because of, you know, time and deadlines and, and just the effort you put in, that stuff just doesn't get done. Instead, most developers just put in, like, super fancy models into their games and, and try to push the graphics so you get, like, nice screenshots on Steam. <laughs> oh, there's two people. Okay. Okay, those two should be down. But since we are approaching the base, there's probably gonna be a lot of people in the actual base. Would be nice to have a gun as a backup. Maybe someone has like an MP5 or something. I don't think I can put like a Stanag magazine in the AUG. Mm -mm. Wait, aren't they the same caliber? If I wanted to, I could unload the rounds and put the rounds in the AUG mag. Oh, that actually works. Hey, <laughs> Big brain moment. 
Also, I don't know about the music. Mm, drum and bass. Like, that seems like a good category for a game like this. Maybe a bit distracting. Maybe what I need is like some synth wave. Uh, well, later. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Now that we're in the actual base, we can start looking at where we need to go. Okay, yeah, different song. Do we have like a synthwave category? Let's see. Mm. Oh, synthwave, we got it. Oh, frick. Wow. Okay, that is insanely loud. What the frick? Might as well make the guns a little bit louder too. Why not? Yeah, you have to be very careful about looting. Because if you try looting in a moment when someone's just about to spot you, you might just get bonked. I kinda wish I could put the short M4. In the uh, secondary slot, but but maybe it's just not meant to be. There we go, one mag on the backup. very bad spot because the music is just so blaringly loud I can't hear where the AI is oh, the spot is right behind us so we just place the bug boop there we go very simple missions but still pleasant to do because it gives you a concrete objective instead of the sort of randomness that you sometimes get in games like Tarkov. Plus, this game was actually really affordable. Most likely due to the fact that it is early in the development. Wait, did I just drop the mag? Oh no. Game? Oh, and the game is also struggling. Why? What's eating my CPU? I don't get it. Oh, frick, 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 frick. Missed. There we go. If I still have the mag, I can just get another one. There we go. We good. We, we vibin'. Next time I'm bringing in a proper gun with proper ammo instead of just being a little rat. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I do have the pistol. I can probably just make it out of here just fine. Mm, 
okay, so in, in, in the building over there. Let's see. And this song is surprisingly silent. Pretzel really needs to figure out their like audio levels and stuff. There we go. Another bug planted. And I know that sometimes there's containers that contain actual guns, but I can't tell which ones will spawn guns and which will just have like mods for other weapons. Oh, we also do see the weather dynamically changing. Okay, so where's the next location? I know there's another one here somewhere. Game? Oh, by the, by the boxes. We can do that. This would be such a bad mission in like a multiplayer game though. Because in those you really want to just keep down as much as you can. I can't I can't find where I need to plant it. Mm -mm. Oh no, there we go, there we go, there we go. Here it is. We good, we good. Mm. One left. I do hear someone nearby though. Oh, they can crawl. Oh, frick. Didn't save them though. Oh wait, I had one more mag. You know what, let's just, hmm. Aug is worth a bit of money though. I should just take the AUG. Oh, frick, 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 frick. <laughs> I shot him so hard he disappeared. That's kind of new. I wonder if this game will ever, um, you know, get big enough to have mods. Like putting all types of items in either of the big inventory slots, for example. I know that Tarkov also has some restrictions on what you can put in where, but there are mods for that. Because there is the single player Tarkov mod. However, for the most part, you still get all of the um, difficulties and challenges that Tarkov kind of brings. So there's really no proper map and, and, and the balancing is a bit all over the place. A game like this, though, can focus more on just the sort of single player and cooperative experience, which is why I think it has a lot of potential. Okay, so we're done with the mission, and now all we need to do is just get out of here. Guess it's extraction time. I'm not sure whether this mission alone will be enough for us to uh, level up, but we're about to see. Oh yeah, and the extract is like a uh, crashed plane. And there we go, that's our first run in the game. Took like 20 minutes and honestly wasn't that bad. But I kind of have the bots set to easy. So if I wanted to, instead I could bring them to the mid difficulty, which they start out at. 
and once more change to a different type of music why not rock music why not that that that, that just kind of makes sense okay so we finished the job and we get a benelli m2 nice mm, we got that pistol and 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 a bunch of loot i think we're just gonna sell most of the loot because we don't have a very particular use for it at the moment we could also bring in the shotgun as our main gun. I'm not sure about the modifications for it, though. Because I do have a nice amount of money, though. I could go in the trader view. Alright, okay. I'm almost at tier 3 with UICS. I think our reputation with the other organizations actually drops when we do jobs for one of them so we probably can't have all of them be complete and and maxed out okay so basically we have the benelli shotgun and if we look for compatible items we can suddenly see all of the mods we can put on the gun now, I'm not sure about the barrels, but I know that it has a handguard. Um, and a rail. We really want to get a rail to put on the top of it. Because once we have a rail, we can look for all of the cool sights that we can put on the gun. Yeah. So we're going to have a shotgun with some hollow sights on it. Oh, we already have a handguard. Hmm, a bit odd. There we go, we swapped that one out. I'm not quite sure what we can put on the handguard though. And that's a bit unfortunate because um, there is no like compatible item search here. There should be a drop down, but the game is a bit early on in the development for something like that. Luckily though, we have a rail. And then on that rail, we can put on some sights. Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty cool shotgun. If I went to the hand guards or, or, or like foregrips, maybe I can get a foregrip for the gun. I'm just gonna buy a few in case one of them fits. Or maybe this is reserved for just rail attachments. So if I wanted to, I could most likely put on a flashlight. And that's about it. Oh no. Those aren't compatible either. I don't know what I can put on this. M-lock handguard. Maybe I need a rail that attaches to the M-lock system. Yeah, see? M-lock rails. I kind of wish they'd simplify it, though. So, there we go. That one's on the side. That's on the other side, and this is on the bottom. Yeah, now we can have, like, a foregrip. Does this mean I could technically have a foregrip on the side? Oh, I can't. I can't put a foregrip on the side. Bullying, for real, for real. <laughs> but yeah, this, this feels about right. So I'm just gonna grab the gun. 
And I'll probably need some ammo as well. So let's just go here and have a quick look at the types of ammo we can get. Oh, there is just buckshot. That's a bit unfortunate. I thought that we would get um, slugs for sure. But hey, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's not actually a laser, that is just a flashlight. Mm. Should I maybe just get another flashlight? Uh, I, I'm probably fine, we good. And yes, we don't need to reload here, but this does very much seem like an automatic shotgun. Well, semi-auto. Except that my mouse has a rapid-fire button, so we can make it basically go like this. <laughs> I should not use this mouse in Valorant or something. As for everything else, we can sell this stuff and hopefully make back a little bit of money. Except for the painkillers, those are useful. If I were to have any complaints about what we have so far, is that maybe all this text and UI is kind of a little bit tiny and needs some work. But nothing that's actually super annoying or anything. It's fine. Mm. We could just try a different mission now. Um, UICS. Let's go for UICS. Oh, and we'd get, like, a really nice scope for this mission. Stealth Surveillance. I'm very much tempted to try doing a night mission, but I know that it would be hard to see, even with, like, the NVGs. But it is a stealth mission, so... You know, let's, let's just go for it. Now, I can't actually read um, which one of these was morning and evening, because 12 a.m. and 12 p.m., that was always kind of confusing to me. <laughs> Let's just pick one. I'm squarely in the uh, 24-hour gang. For real, for real. Oh no, we're actually in the middle of the day. That's fine, I can still do stealth. If there's no witnesses, it does count like stealth. Wait, no, 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 we are here in the middle of the night. The loading screen lied. Now, we we do have night vision goggles, and also the flashlight I put on the shotgun could be pretty useful. Hmm, <clears throat> but I don't know, this is gonna be a little bit jank to play. Not gonna lie. Now, we do get the... Oh, no! <laughs> I can't use the tablet with NVGs. That is kind of realistic, but also funny and unfortunate. Okay, so like there's a winding road to our left. And, and, and yeah, I kind of feel like this is going to be a bit goofy to play. Because number one, the game struggles a little bit more, I think when we have the night vision effects. And number two, this just looks a bit weird. They really should make the NVGs bigger. Oh yeah. We get like a laser sight as well. Now, since this one isn't like an IR sight, I think the enemies can pretty much see it though. So we might leave it off. Hmm. 
I don't know about this music. Maybe, maybe what I need is to just play one mission with no music. To get all like stealthy and immersed. Because if the bots are more difficult now, that kind of does mean that I can't afford to not know where they are. Like not hearing their chatter and stuff. Plus, I don't know if you can actually hear it on stream, but the game does have some, like, nice sound design. There's, like, little critters chirping throughout the night. There's something burning off in the distance. Okay. Or maybe just some lights that are on. Hard to say for sure. Okay, so we need to go to the quarry. So we're gonna cut through the base. The problem is there's probably gonna be a bunch of dudes there. And then go around and, and go to the quarry. Now this is a little bit risky because the bot difficulty is now higher and, you know, they could very much catch me off guard. Can't quite tell why that is so bright. Hmm. Oh, there we go. can just barely see that person. Oh, there's two of them. Luckily, middle of the night. So we can sneak around. I'm suddenly very much reminded of the Project IGI game. How the frick did they see me? What the frick? No! It's the middle of the night! No! Okay, 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 we're gonna heal. I feel like they might just push up. Okay, that's one down, that's one down. I hear footsteps up there. Mm, don't tell me they're coming around. Oh, there they are. Luckily, they don't have NVGs, so frick them. <laughs> Jeez, I just bonked so many of them. That's it, they're all down. Maybe I should have just gone for aiming like this. Oh, that's a lot of guns we have now. Mm, I don't think I want to swap out to an AK though. And no MP5s either. Oh wait, no, no, no. We actually have a silenced MP5. That is really freaking good. Oh my gosh, yes. I need a playlist that is called like Sam Fisher or something that would have like tactical stealthy music. Hmm. 
Let me just very quickly have a look here. Maybe something like this, but not too loud. Oh no, it is very much loud. <sighs> I struggle with music. Ah, frick it, good enough. Now, the good news is that we are almost at the quarry. I could also just switch out of the um, NVGs for a little bit, because this light is quite powerful. Okay, no, um, they will see me from like a mile away. We can also switch to the MP5, which should prove to be pretty good for stealthy stuff. Okay, yeah, there's a bug we gotta put down just about here. Right? Oh, that's a hybrid side. Oh my, I am taking this. This stuff actually is kind of rare at times. Okay, that's one down. Oh, frick, 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 frick. Where'd he go? Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, and I am dead. Mmm, pain. Okay, yeah, night missions. An absolute mess. Holy frick, that was bad. <laughs> oh yeah, also this game very conveniently gives you the option of like rage quitting. Just leave the desktop. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, what happens now is that I'm back at the hideout, but I have lost both some reputation and everything I had on me. So I'm not gonna get the fancy sights. I'm also gonna lose, quite possibly, access to some of the stuff on the uh, shop, if I de-rank here. So basically, I have to work on a completely new loadout now, which honestly might not be a bad thing. I can kind of show off how the system works. In most cases, you're gonna have a few basic items, like a backpack. We're gonna go for the big one. A tactical belt, which can fit a few items. A helmet of some variety. Um, maybe night vision, I don't really know if I need it, but why not? And also a vest. But some are not available because we don't have a high enough rank. Hmm. And yeah, we're just, we're just gonna go with this one. So we buy all of that stuff. And we can equip it. A big backpack, so we can be a little loot goblin. A belt. And a decent helmet. Now, it actually has armor on it that can run out. So it can get damaged beyond repair, basically. Mm, aside from that, probably one... What does adrenaline... Adrenaline even do. Oh right, I could revive a teammate. Sadly, there are no bots. So for the most part, I'm just in here by myself. I feel like playing this with friends would give it a completely different vibe. Sadly, I'm probably not buying it for all of my friends right now. And they are a little bit broke. <laughs> now we can get the Sig Sour Pistol as well. And 
found a magazine on the backup. Oddly enough, I think the magazines actually come like filled with ammo and stuff. Still actually feels like it might be a bit better for aiming and stuff too. Might need an attachment for it. Mm, not a sight, but like a tactical device. There we go. A laser. And yeah, it just attaches directly to the pistol. So this is good. Aside from that, we probably want to get some guns going. I do have one of the fancy sniper rifles, but I don't actually have it unlocked. So if I lose it, that's about it. We saw the shotgun. It actually played pretty well. I do have a few rifles. And again, I, I don't have everything. I think I'm just going to go with like a regular AK. However, it's quite likely that we're going to want a custom rail. Frick, I don't actually know which one of these would fit the gun. I think it's the B13, but I don't have the IGC rating or rank or whatever. Maybe a custom handguard then? But this one doesn't fit tactical devices. So I might just be kind of forced to run an AK without proper sights. That just really freaking sucks. Damn, okay. But yeah, there is some like um, basic web weapon modification in the game. That's kind of cool. But yeah, unfortunately, the AK doesn't actually fit a scope as it is now. They're just going to be running this very, very bare. We could, we very much could go for the IGC mission. Getting tier 2 shouldn't be like impossible or anything. Signal disruption, let's go. But this time we are entering the area during daytime. 1.40 p.m. Surely that is daytime, right? Please be daytime. I, I, I feel like the clock will be bullying me. It is actually daytime. We are good. We are good. We are good. Now we do need three jammers and they do take up a lot of inventory space, unfortunately. So we are here. Luckily the point we need to go to isn't like super far away. Now if we wanted to we could also just run around for a little bit and loot stuff. There's actually nothing forcing you to... Oh, frick, 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 frick. There's actually nothing forcing you to make your every little excursion into this area be a mission. If you want, you can go in with no objective and just go for loot. Yeah, see, this is why you have to be very careful with looting. So 
Sometimes the AI will just straight up catch you off guard. Don't really need ammo. Wait, maybe I can reload the. Um... What if I do this? Pick up the ammo. Well, the the magazine, and then reload it. Okay, yeah, this is this is actually decent. I might just be slightly spazzing out here. The medium bots feel like a pretty big jump up. They're like probably what Tarkov players are used to on a regular basis. drink some water. Now we don't need to go to the quarry this time, so I will be steering clear. shooting. Now, a very big difference from the single player Tarkov mod is the fact that the AI don't really seem to be fighting one another. So in the Tarkov mod you would sometimes just run around and, and hear AI fighting with each other and just getting into fights like normal players would on the servers. In this game, if you hear someone shooting, Chances are they're shooting at you. I don't know whether the developers are gonna change the dynamic or whether things will remain as they are. But it would be nice to see the AI actually engaging one another as well. You know, to make the game world a little bit more lively. some binoculars right about now. Hmm. It does feel like maybe stealth is, um... A little bit too hard. Like, I could almost immediately hear the AI noticing me. And I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I don't think I can go there. Mm. This game could also benefit from like a little climbing mechanic. Like grabbing onto ledges and such. gun box. Yeah, I could get an M4. Oh, and this one actually has sights and a Glock. Honestly, kind of cool. I'm just gonna take it in my backpack for later. Did 
There might still be an aggro NPC somewhere around here. Hmm. I don't think I can go down from here. Um. Quick jump, I guess? No? Oh, wait, I can't actually jump over the ledge. Okay, yeah, that is very jank. What the frick? Oh, there we go. That was the AI. <laughs> Literally death from above or something. Oh, we actually get some more ammo. That is cool. I wonder if there's a hotkey for healing. Don't think there is. Yeah, no, 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 no. So we actually have to go in the inventory to heal ourselves. That does slow it down a little bit. Okay, so where do I put the jammer? Mm. I'm guessing second floor. Oh wait, no, 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 here. That is one down. Three, three in total, so two to go. Oh, hmm, that's a bit jank. <laughs> um, where to next? Okay, so there's one up on that little hill there, so we're gonna have to go around because there's only one entrance to that location. I am very much exposed though. And the AI accuracy at this difficulty is kind of crazy. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. If they get the drop on me, I am basically dead. It would be a little bit more hopeful if I had a scope, but like, look, what am I supposed to do from this range? Okay, yeah, I can drop them, but only because they don't shoot at me from that distance. Oh, and there's fog rolling in. Now, for what it's worth, the AI can actually play pretty aggressively. Now, they're not, like, amazingly good or anything. You can still very much just spray them down from a distance. But they will very much push you and overwhelm you. I think I'm down to my last mag right now. Okay, do I have any spare ammo? Oh wait, no, 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 I do have one AK mag in my bag. So yeah, that's another thing. You can't really reload from your bag. You need stuff on your belt. Also, hey Ashley, welcome in. I'm playing Incursion Red River. It's not a military sim as much as it is a game that reminds me kind of of Tarkov, I guess. So, sort of an extraction shooter. Wait, a bit of looting. No reloading? What do you mean, no reloading? How How's that supposed to work? Okay, fine. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like this is a form of bullying that shouldn't even be possible. Okay, use the entire clip. 
I mean, I can do you one better. I just have multiple guns that I'm gonna switch between. Like, run out of rounds? Well, time to throw the gun away. I'm supposed to place jammers somewhere. Not exactly sure about the location, though. Oh, also, I am stealing graphics cards. Just straight up, like, this is how they get the RTX cards. People wage wars for them. Oh, VR chat with Mimi. I hope you do had fun. That sounds lovely. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> okay, it's supposed to be right here. Except it doesn't freaking work. What am I doing wrong? Maybe up there? Like, I'm supposed to place a jammer. Oh wait, here we go. Done. And we need to do one more of these and then I can extract. But also strange people how? What, what happened? Okay, so this extract is open permanently, so I can just run around, go where the choppers are, and on the far side building. Hmm. I'm gonna do my best here, for real, for real. Also, I think my inventory is pretty much full, so I'm just gonna focus on getting out alive. If indeed at all possible. How much armor does that dude have? What the frick? Oh, I hear more. Hmm. I mean, if I'm really fast, I can just run away from the AI. I think that's the building I need. Yes, on the far side of that building. And yeah, um, this is a nice game. I got it on sale. It also has co-op. Ooh, woo. We, we would, hmm, I think we'd make a great team. Yee. But like, even single player, it is pretty okay. Except that um, it very much does kind of melt your GPU and stuff. Like, I had to cap this game to 30 FPS, just so it would be streamable. I'm also starting to think that maybe I should have splurged a bit more and gotten the A750 graphics card instead of the A580 that I have right now. <clears throat> because for what it's worth, the A580 plays most games decently, but these modern titles, they just push everything so far. Like, holy crap. Okay, yes, we have finished the objective, and now we just have to extract. And yes, Ashley, I would definitely fight in a small remote nation together with you. Oh, woo. This is, this is an accurate portrayal of how I'd land our plane. <laughs> mm, yeah. A little stretchy stretch. My throat is still killing me. I've been yapping for an entire hour. Mm. And look. We have our awesome <clears throat> computer, and boom, mission finished. More collaborative success. And uh, we have rank 2 of IGC unlocked, but the reputation with the other factions is falling, meaning that we just need to keep winning and, and, and do like missions for everyone to get access to the goodies in the store. Oh, posture check. Mm, yeah. 
Hmm. I'm gonna be healthy as Frank. Aside from that, though, kind of scuffed. I I really need those like AK modifications. Now, if we do have tier two unlocked, that means that I should just be able to go to the trader, go to attachments, and under the dust covers or something. Boom! There's a Zenitco one. Oh, I know. I can also get the fancy um, hand guard. Oh, that is scuffed. Okay, yeah, let's let's just trick out our AK. Let's make it the fanciest AK anyone has ever seen. For real, for real. <laughs> I could go with the wooden one. Oh wait, this one doesn't even fit. What is this meant for? I'm confuzzled. That's like an AK thing. Oh, I just need to remove the current one and then I can put it on. Mmm, and same for the rail cover, I guess. It would be cool if you could just like swap things out. Mmm, okay, I, I can't actually put it on. Zenitco hand guard. Mmm. I, mm, I I don't know what I'm doing. I think it only fits together with a very specific hand guard. Frick it, let's go with the wooden one. Why not? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be like an old school AK. Frick, this game would really flourish if it had like AK-47s and AKMs and a bunch of those old-timey AK variants. But that still leaves me needing a proper, like, um, dust cover. <sighs> because I really want this one because it would let me put sights on. This one does not. Hmm. I don't think I want to run an AK without sights, though. There should be like a custom AK rail mount or something, no? <clears throat> M700, that's for that other gun. Oh yeah, Zenitco rail, that's the one I need. We're gonna make this work yet. Good. And this. So if we look at our gun now, look, it's it's one of those fancy AKs with wooden furniture, but some very nice sights. Sounds a bit weird with the rapid fire, though. Might need to reload the pistol as well while we are at it, actually. And maybe get a spare pistol mag, because uh, we're, we're kind of running on fumes here. So, magazine, two AK mags, and one P320. Good. We're gonna be pretty much loaded. Yes. And some painkillers. 
Now I'm not gonna sell the M4 because this is this is pretty much good as it is. I am gonna sell the spare AK parts and the Glock mags and stuff. I don't really need the Glock. And also we're actually making a bunch of months now. We have almost 50k. After selling everything, we surely... Yes, yes we do have a bunch now. Wouldn't it be cool to have like a... Um, Hmm. A sort of shortcut button to automatically sell things. But it's okay. It's fine. So we have some spare guns and pretty much a loadout that's good for another mission. So let's go and make some trouble. Oh yeah, still have the weird like um, night vision too. Probably not gonna need it. Now, I think it's time that I look into what I actually want to get. So there are some sites. And I'd really like some with actual magnification. So maybe an ACOG. UICS. Seems like UICS is the ones who have the sights. So that's who we are gonna align with. Mm. We have two different missions available. Both involve just like planting bugs. I wonder if I could go with both. Oh no, I can't. Just one mission at a time. That's fine though. Mm, do we want to go in at 4 a.m. or 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. is probably better. Just in the middle of the day. Also, I did play it in a higher frame rate for a little bit, and the game was so much more fluid. Like, oh my gosh. At 60 FPS, I would, um, you know, decimate some of those bots. At 30, it, it is a bit more of an even match up. So, I guess that's the proof I need to uh, say that bots run at 30 FPS for real, for real. But yeah, here we are. We have a fancy gun, a fancy backup gun that I totally didn't forget to reload. And a map. I think we're going to follow the main road again. And because the bugs don't take up a bunch of space, we can be a little loot gremlins for a bit. <clears throat> I do think that after a few hours of playing this game, it's um, kind of limitations become a bit more apparent. You start focusing on unlocking specific items that you might want, as opposed to just like goofing around and, and, and exploring, because you will have most likely discovered what the map has to offer by then. There's just a few sort of notable locations and that's about it. Some spare ammo. But yes, for pre-alpha release, this is good, honestly. Many games on release aren't as uh, playable as, as this. Also, surprisingly, it doesn't seem like there's that many bugs that I've run into. Sometimes models just kind of have pieces of them disappear, but that doesn't actually impact anything much. It's like when, for example, you take an NPC down. Oh, a new tactical rig. 
Yeah, I think we're switching to that rig because my current one has no armor. So if I get shot, I am fricked. At least the helmet is fine. So this goes here and this goes here. Boom. And our inventory is basically full too. Yeah, this, this does kind of make my computer struggle. Oh, enemy. Okay, that one's down. But there's usually more than just one. Mm, this game kind of does make my computer struggle a little bit. And the thing is that I don't mind if... Um, if the GPU hits like 100%. My problem is more along the lines that I can't really stream if that happens. So I have to often cap game frame rates and stuff. Because if they don't hit a stable 60, I either need to lower the settings or find another way to actually make it a bit streamable. And right now the usage of the GPU at 30 FPS and streaming and recording is about 90%. I guess anyone can see why I have a bit of a problem with, you know, modern games being super, super, super graphically intensive and stuff. Especially when you can't turn it down while at least preserving the art style. Because sometimes what developers do is they don't create like lower fidelity assets. Instead, they're just like, oh yeah, let's just turn off most of the graphics and leave you with a broken mess. Oh, that's no good. I'm just mag dumping. <laughs> Wait, I actually have the ammo, don't I? Yee, we good. Oh, I think we... Oh, we bugged out the actual inventory. Yeah, see? I can't put anything in these two slots. That's another bug that I ran into. I'm not sure why it happens. Actually, with how finicky Unreal Engine is, I'm surprised that it doesn't, like, crash the game or something. <laughs> Would be one hell of a bug report, though. Game crashes when I try to reload my gun. But oh well, it is what it is. I could take the rig off and put it back on. Oh yeah, see, there's actually items here. Like empty mags that I just didn't see. That's a bit odd. But hey. It's not like it's super hard to work around. Oh, and I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Just me and my AK about to frick things up. Mag dumping in this game is sometimes surprisingly effective. Because the distances are way lower than in something like Arma. And the recoil, while it's definitely there, <clears throat> it doesn't make the guns usable. Like anyone who's played Rising Storm um, will probably know. In that game, if you try to full auto, your chances of actually hitting something are almost nil. Oh, and the CPU is dying again. Damn. That's odd. 
<clears throat> Not sure what the CPU's problem is. Randomly, the usage freaking spikes a whole bunch. But hey, if I ever finish that Unity game I'm making, I'd like it to just be this playable. Like, this game doesn't have a 12-hour campaign. It doesn't have hundreds of items or collectibles. But the game loop that is here, it just works. Even now. So early in development. Road is absolutely killing me today, though. Hmm. I feel like there probably should be someone nearby. Like it's 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 the very entrance to the base, right? Also, I'm not quite sure what the lore is. We're basically just people entering the country and we're working for a variety of like private military contractors or like a resistance movement. Would it be cool to have a few, at least, proper story missions? Okay, yeah, the recoil here isn't very good. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't see where I'm shooting. Oh, frick. Okay, that one's down. There's one up there and there's one to the right. We have a bit of an advantage. I really love that the AI has those like barks where they just basically give away their positions and stuff. For real, for real. Steps. <laughs> How did he miss me? I was literally sitting out in the open. Damn. I was so freaking lucky just there. I was peak sneaky. For real, for real. Oh, that side? I hear the footsteps. And there we go. Holy frick, holding the MP5 like this is actually so much easier at low ranges. Crazy. The only thing I don't enjoy is that the markers for putting these things down only show up when you're super, super freaking close. Like, where, where is the... Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, a bit annoying. I 
at the same time though the point shooting mechanic in this game one of the sort of better executed ones very freaking nice and usable every game should have something like this especially when a gun just straight up has bad iron sights like when you shoot they're they're not very usable but if you do that in the point shooting mode suddenly it's okay oh frick i'm out of ammo <laughs> Okay, so I have to go inside of that building. Uh, all of my guns are fine. We good, we good, we good. There's no way there won't be a bunch of combat in here, though. Not sure how exactly the bots spawn. It doesn't feel like they appear just out of nowhere. But they definitely don't just wander around the greater map. Okay, one more up ahead. Oh, that was so close. Holy frick. <laughs> An MP5 mag! Oh, frick, 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 frick. To the side, to the side, to the side. Shit, okay, yeah, some, sometimes it's just very chaotic. Mm. But I think I can reload this mag. There we go! We good, we good, we good, we good. And even the MP5. However these bots spawn, they always feel just a little bit too close. But that might be me, I don't know. Oh frick 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 frick. I didn't even see where I'm being shot from. Hmm. I could try making a run for that building. But I do not know where I was being shot from. That side. Oh, from that far, really? That's crazy, what the frick? Jeez. We're up against some snipers here. They're pushing up, they're pushing up. Got him. I think this game manages to make weapon combat feel kind of visceral. I hear footsteps. This game very well gets the bit about Tarkov right, where sound matters a lot. Like when characters move they make very sort of distinctive noises. And if you figure out where from, you have an advantage. I really don't like being out in the open though. Okay, yeah, that's, that's another bug. <laughs> Nothing that would make the game crash though. It's odd how stable this thing is, even if the performance does kind of suck. Okay, I need one more. Oh, I have to go back. Oh, and all the way across the base. Mmm. Oh, well. I mostly got this. Running kind of low on ammo, but if I stopped mag dumping, I'd be fine. Surely. What I should be more worried about is the armor. That's very much running out.
Okay, yeah, this this is not good at the range. Oh no. Hey, he actually went to my last location. That's kind of cool. I just flanked around. So the AI isn't like straight up cheating. It's 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 fine in that regard at least. And this is the last Listening thing I need to place. And I can exfil. Also put on a different song. Mm. So we just head straight forwards and, and that's it. That's that's the mission then. Just get to survive to the end. It's kind of interesting that one of the exfils is just like insanely open. It's a good thing I don't have anyone on my tail right now. Yee. Hmm. That went pretty well, actually. Damn. And we still have a bunch of stuff. Like another MP5. Hmm. Might need to get some more AK mags, though. Like, full ones. I don't really feel like reloading these. No real reason to do that. Mm, some more painkillers. And a bunch of, like, attachments and gear and stuff. I'm gonna sell most of these again. And the mission will have some rewards for us, too. That, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And there isn't like a food mechanic, so you can play for as long as you want. That's kind of chill. I feel, I feel like I might go with the M4, but try to make it into a bit of a sniper weapon. Depending on what sites are now available. But yeah, there we go. Um, let me see. What rewards did I get? Um, a Trigicon site. Oh, oh yeah, we have like a little like red dot on our pistol now. That's cool. Mmm, some mini flashlights. Oh, we actually got multiple of that site. So I can truly mess around with the gun a whole bunch. And there's an angled grip, but I don't think the gun as it currently is can take that. We might need to mess around with the mod system a little bit. Mm, what would I like? Oh wait, I think we also need to swap out our vest, because we did get shot a few times. Yee. Can sell this one. And the helmet's fine, the helmet's fine. So this one has a hundred health. And this one also a hundred. So not a big difference. Can just kind of get the cheapest one. So painkiller, some pistol mags. Oh, hey Mimi. Bye Mimi. <laughs> Hope you have nice lurkies. Mm, so we want sights. Oh yeah, and after we unlocked the new level, we actually have a bunch available. Four times hybrid scope. Also reflex sight. 
And a one times six scope. I think I'm gonna go with a hybrid one. Just because this game does have a button to switch between those. And and, and that would kinda of be cool. They have a versatile gun. Yeah. So what I can do with the Colt is take off the current sight, which by the way is pretty cool, and put on the new one. That does not, however, um, change the situation that our like hand guard isn't very good. And I think the M4s are one of the weapons that you can actually mod a whole bunch in the game. So let's actually see about that. Compatible item search. There's like different pistol grips, mm, buffer tubes, sights. Oh yeah, we could get a custom handguard. That's a start. And a fancy stock. Yes, please. Maybe one of those long handguards. <clears throat> Not sure about the barrel. We can just get at, get like every single size that's available and try them out. 16 and 18 inch. There's also 60 round magazines, but that's a little bit crazy. Oh, we can definitely make this into like a fully fledged sniper rifle. A very tricked out gun. And oddly enough, we can put in scar mags. That's a bit different. Mm, let's see. Slot is not free. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the cold handguard. Oh, and we need the front sight with gas block off. Yeah, that works, right? No, wait, no. We need, um... We do need a gas block just without the front sight. They do sell some like that. Right? Okay, I'm a bit confused. Oh, wait, maybe I need to remove the compatibility. Yeah, this is, um... This is a bit weird. Because if I put the compatibility in the filters to have a specific gun in there, I kind of don't expect to need something else for the actual, you know, gun selection to work. That's 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 kind of weird. We can put in we can put in a barrel that's shorter than the handguard. Okay, that's weird. Or like a super long one. Hmm. I think 16 is fine. We're gonna make a little DMR. I kind of want to go for a silencer. Okay, this for this is 445 ACP. 
This is probably for shotguns. That's for the AUG. 9mm. Magnum. Oh, SOCOM. But we need a sure fire compatible muzzle device. What is that supposed to mean? Why is the system such a mess? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. AR-15. That's basically what we have. Gate lock adapter. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. Surefire. Surefire muzzle. Okay, muzzle break maybe? I am so confused, holy frick. Yeah, I think Tarkov kind of has the same problem. It's just um, a little bit confusing. These are compatible. Do I need a custom muzzle? Okay, maybe gas tube? Oh wait, what did I do? Okay, no, 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 no. I don't think I can figure this out. Oh wait, no, 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 we actually have the shrouds here. In the barrel category, okay. the items we need. <sighs> I'm a little bit frustrated. Okay, what if I go to the barrel that I care about? And in the barrel compatibility search, look for things that are, you know, fitted on top of it. So like this. Take the barrel off then, like this. Okay, yeah, this this works. There we go. Mm.
So what I needed was the M lock. Um. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> this is this is a workable setup good enough for me mm. I think it has M lock on the bottom, so we're gonna need some rails for the handguard So one two three and while we're at it, we're gonna get one Mm. Flashlight and one tactical device, or maybe just like the basic laser. That's fine. Doesn't seem like there's that many handguards, though. Okay, so we have an M4 with both a laser and a flashlight, as well as the combined sights, a suppressor, and a long stock. It does weigh 7 kilos, though. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. But literally all we need now is just some ammo, and we are good. Oh, frick it, put the laser on the top. That's weird. Why would you do that game? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we can we can move it to the side. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Also, there's a button for switching the scope. Let me very quickly check that out. Cycle sights. Um, might need to rebind it to something. Oh wait, I don't I don't think I can actually uh, use the secondary sights on the scope like the red dot that's supposed to be on the top The game just won't let me like I'm trying to use the bind, but it it does nothing Okay, what button isn't bound to anything? Let's try with a keyboard bind Cycle sights so comma No, it just straight up doesn't work. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I guess all of the features aren't there yet. That's fine, though. That's fine. We still have a gun. And it's a good one. Mm. One, two, three, four. Four max. And I'm gonna go for some, like, custom ammo as well. So, 556, full metal jacket, or, or, or whatever the alternative is. You know what, let's just go with the default. Whatever. One in the gun, and three on the backup. I swear, I'm probably just gonna get immediately shot or something. <laughs> But yeah, let's go in and, and do one last job. So we might need some IGC points. So signal sabotage mission. And let's deploy during the morning. Hmm. And after this last mission, I think I'm also wrapping the stream up. This game is straight up making my room a little bit toasty and stuff. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, some different music. The song that's about to play is called Lost in the Jungle. Damn, that's gonna be me in like a minute. <clears throat> and here we go. We have our tricked out M4. Our pistol on the backup. No silencer on this one though. Hmm. Might also switch to semi and try to play like a freaking sniper and stuff. For that though, I'm gonna need to slightly decrease the sensitivity. Yeah, something like this. And our objectives are simple. Place tree jammers and we're out of here. We're going to like a convoy location though. Mm. What could possibly go wrong there? I feel like there's probably going to be someone spawning down the road. There usually is. But this time I can actually look ahead properly because of some really nice scopes and stuff being available. Now, unfortunately, I will no longer have rank three after we actually finish this mission. Oh, oh, oh frick, 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 frick. My reputation with all of the other factions will go down. Oh, I see you. No? Oh, frick. <laughs> Get tracked. Holy frick, reducing sensitivity is actually really freaking bad up close. That's why switching out of the aiming mode might just be the best option here. I hear someone else. There we go. <laughs> I love when the point shooting just works. That is so pleasant. Also, hey E2, welcome in. Oh, almost a freaking year. That is lovely. Yee. I hope you've been having a lovely day. I am here just kind of melting my computer bit by bit, playing modern games. Frick, Unreal Engine is so pretty though. Like, oh my gosh. People are gonna do some amazing things with it. I can hear someone around. I don't know where they are exactly, though. Also, all of this is running on the Intel Arc card. I know it's only medium graphics, but still, it's amazing that something like this can even work. Okay, the, the objective is just straight up ahead. Let's be on our way. We're gonna do this super freaking tactically. For real, for real. Oh no, a student melted their Chromebook. That's what happens when you try overclocking things, for real, for real. 
Honestly, I thought that Chromebooks were supposed to be like super, um, you know, like locked down and, and kind of stable. Even if they're usually a bit underpowered. Still, I applaud their creativity, for real, for real. <laughs> Oh, there's someone. Yeah, they're down. Holy frick, this gun is good. Maybe the suppressor is a bit OP, but I don't mind. <laughs> oh, I could steal their MP5 too. Oh, the charger ports. Oh, no. Wait, can't you get them replaced then from like the manufacturer or whatever? If they still have any sort of like a warranty going on. Although I don't imagine the RMA process is that nice. Hmm. For what it's worth, I had a little bit of an overclock on my GPU and I just had to kind of turn it off because it does cause some video artifacts exactly when I'm doing like recordings and stuff. Maybe even on stream as well. So I can squeeze as much performance out of this card as would be possible. And I just have to make do with like the defaults. Which, for what it's worth, are fine. It's an okay card. Might have needed to go for the fancy one, though. Okay, 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 the mission is done. And I should be able to extract somewhere. Where's the extraction point? Okay, so there's one that opens in two minutes. And there one, there's one on the far side of the map. Okay, yeah, let's, let's just go for it. Let's go on a little run. <laughs> Max efficiency, Christy. For real, for real. I mean, if I paid for the hardware, I might as well squeeze out as much performance out of it as I can. Like, luckily, my CPU is a little bit nicer when it comes to, like, having an overclock. Oh, frick, 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 there's someone up ahead. There's someone up ahead. Oh, no. It's nicer when it comes to having a bit of an overclock, and I can push it a bit hard. So games that normally would cause the whole system to be a little bit strained, now mostly just run. Yeah, that's fine, you know? Okay, I think we're near the quarry or something, which is bad news because there's usually a lot of people here. Good news though, a lot of ammo. Oh, and this person has the fancy magazine. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, game? Hello? Oh, oh, I, I, huh. I think the game might have crashed. <laughs> I was talking about like efficiency and, and, and all of the other stuff and uh, <laughs> Hey, we actually managed to crash the game. I only had some very mild bugs and um, you know, I, I, I thought things are gonna be fine, but apparently not. Anyway, this was like a really cool mag and I would have loved to use it. But alas, seems like it wasn't meant to be. This time I don't think it's like the graphics drivers because I'm still on the stream and the computer itself has no issues. Rather, it's, 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 it's just the game that has some problems. Which, um, I don't know. I've been streaming for two hours, which isn't like the longest stream ever. Um, but I might as well kind of wrap it up here because, uh, you know, late in the evening, I need a snack. And I'm visiting my parents in the countryside in, in like, you know, the following days. And I'm gonna play with doggos and, and breathe some fresh air and it's gonna be wonderful. But as for all of you, I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you in another stream or video.
And yes, E2, I hope you take care. And if I ever see you streaming, I will 100% drop by one of your streams and bully you a little bit. <laughs> Until later, take care, bye.